Hello everybody, welcome back to my boot camp series on Mortal Kombat 1. Today we're focusing on Omni-Man. In today's episode, we will be focusing on two cameos for Omni-Man this time. First time I've ever done this on my channel. But Omni-Man is such a special boy to me, so I thought I had to do my boy right. Today we'll be doing Scorpion and Jax. Getting to know everything about their combo strings. Learning some gameplay tips for them. And in the next episode... We'll take them online. See how we did on this boot camp series. So if you want to see that, definitely make sure to subscribe. And just before we get into the video, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for your ongoing support on this channel. <laughs> Might be a little corny to say this, but I am just truly at a loss for words on how much my channel is growing recently. And being so close to a thousand subscribers just, just absolutely cannot make me happier. And I love making content for you guys. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting off with Jax. His potential for a unblockable full combo startup already makes him an amazing cameo for Omni-Man. As he's not as damaging as Scorpion or as mixed up as Kung Lao, but an unblockable setup is unbeatable, literally. Now, everyone knows his basic combos by now, but if you don't, we can start off with the back 1-1 one -one contempt into us backhand. What the f absolute hell is that name? We got the back 1-1. One -one. Straight into the standing two. You're gonna want to walk forward like one or two steps with this as well. Then we'll do the Viltramite stance right into the Thrag Through Mud. After that, it'll give another pop up and we can do his finishing air combos, which will be the 2 1 2 discipline and then the fly toward. We're gonna do it twice. After we do that, we switch up the air combo right into boot stain, which is 1 2 into a grab instead. 373. Now, into the jacks part. If your opponent is blocking all your attacks, you can use your Viltramite stance and avoid Jax's ground pound. So, what would that look like in, in a match? He's blocking all your setups. After you hit the second button in the string, you'll activate the ground pound, and then instead of doing the entire string again, you'll just do a single square attack, and you'll special cancel into the Viltramite stance. Now, you have to make sure you are not hitting him while the ground pound is hitting him as well, or else it will not work. And then, of course, after the Viltramite stance, we'll do the rest of his normal finish. Finisher. Not as much as our usual, but 336 is still pretty fun here. Now you can do this combo with a lot of string setups that Omni Man has, like his fastest startup, 1 2 Conqueror Killer. We also have a low starter that we can special cancel into the Viltramite stance. That's all good and shit, but the corner combos with Jax is where the damage starts to ramp up a little bit here. We can do our fastest startup, the Planet Pillager 1 2 2, right into the Jax Cameo Backbreaker. And then another standing three kick and then the usual finisher. Now that does take him out of the corner, so you could spend another bar to get on the other side, but that is cost two bars, or you could just not spend a bar. Or if you would really like to keep him in the corner without spending two bars, you can finish the combo with the forward four one grab spilled continents. Content. This is how he off the Batman clone and in Invincibles. And I wish this did more damage than the Sky combos because it just looks so much cooler. But we can't always get what we want in this game. He kind of throws them back into the corner as well. And it still does decent amount of damage up to 340. And of course our other corner combos to keep up the pressure is our triple two destructive elbow with the Jax cameo backbreaker. And that's 392. We can do that, mix it up with our low combo. You can also keep the pressure hot with a back forward and call in the ground pound for another unblockable that your opponent can't even really defend. Now, getting your character into the corner can be a little tricky. Our best moves that we have are Giblet Maker and the Mega Clap. Both these moves are minus 15 on block. So that could be basically an entire full punch. So we can always just special cancel into a one, two to make this a guaranteed connection. And of course, if he's blocking everything that you're doing, you can just do that Jax combo right again. Then we also have a good footsie move to use, the forward four, one, uh-oh uh -oh move. That will go straight into the Jax cameo backbreaker, into the standing three kick, then the usual finish from there. And then of course, his fatal blow combos. It's just basically any setup that you can get with him into that Viltramite stance. When he tosses him up, we are going to spam the ever-living hell out of our trigger buttons because we are going to need to get it as soon as possible. And that is a 43% fatal blow combo. Now, with Scorpion. Scorpion, as I said before, is the more damaging of the two characters in today's boot camp. But why is that? 
well. Instead of doing the fastest startup strings, just one, two, Viltrumite stance, we can actually do a full string and then do Scorpion's far fire breath. Now, to time Scorpion's cameo correctly for the last triangle in the string, press up fire breath at the same time. So at the same time, triangle and up fire breath. Now we hit the one, two again to make sure which side our opponent is on after the fire breath, just like the Raiden combo tutorial that I did not too long ago, just to confirm which side he's on for the Viltrumite stance. Then of course, after that Viltrumite drag through mud, you already know what to do after that. Note to mention though, you, you really have to hit the tip of your opponent's cheeks for the one, two move. Same thing with the triple two. This one is easier to hit than the one, two, two. For some reason, I really don't know why, but it also does more damage, so. But what I think makes Scorpion really shine is the forward R1 Hellblades. This move is great to set your opponent up for mix-ups. Like instead of the back one one, you can do a back one cameo. And then from there, you're gonna wanna do brought to heal, and then you'll do the Viltrumite stance into the normal finisher. And that's still 36%, so I say that's pretty damn good. Or you could do the forward three earthquake stomp into the Hellblades. That will pop your opponent up, and then you could do the normal standing three into Viltrumite stance finisher. Now with the Scorpion cameo in the corner, the combos are usually the same, but with the forward three one uh -oh. up, we can use the Hellblades right after it. And then that's a perfect pop-up for the standing three combo finisher. Now, that is all I have on these two cameos. I really didn't have any consideration for doing Kun Lao. My homies hate Kun Lao. But anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like below, like I said before, and comment who you want to see next in these videos. I know these videos do take a while to get out, and I just can't thank you guys enough for your patience and consideration. I am trying every day on trying to push these videos out, and I'm not trying to like half-ass any videos either. So I appreciate every one of you, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Legends never Die. We've been going every night. I've been feeling way too blessed, but with Lex, I'm never stressed. They don't know just what we do. We've been out here with the crew. They don't know just how we live. Think we got too much to give. I've been